Joe to the Casual What's up, guys? And today we got some Team Fortress 2 gameplay. Uh, I know I said I wouldn't be uploading TF2, but uh, as you can tell on my 100th video on this one, I'm probably going to start uploading a few gameplays of it here and there uh, because it is the only gameplay that I have on my hard drive that's actually mine. And uh, I know you guys prefer to see that. Uh, and I don't really like asking people all the time for gameplay, so I figured I would uh, use some TF2. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty simple, pretty easy to understand what's going on. Uh, this is basically just capture the intelligence, kind of like capture the flag. I'm trying to use the easiest game types I can find so that people that don't understand TF2 can uh, kind of grasp at least a little bit of what's going on. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about today is something a little bit different, and something I'm going to start doing a lot more often, and that is uh, first take commentaries. And I know that sounds like kind of a vague statement, kind of something that I should already be doing, but uh, for those of you that don't know and those of you that don't know me, uh, I spend about four hours of video just on the commentary, and you know, over a while that gets pretty time consuming and it actually gets, you know, pretty frustrating because when you're sitting there for four hours staring at a computer screen talking to yourself, uh, it no longer is fun, it becomes almost like a chore or a job uh, to do, and I, I don't want YouTube to become something that feels like I have to do it. It feels like I'm working to do it. I want YouTube to be something that's fun and something that's lighthearted. And it was when I first started my channel. But, uh, you know, as the subscriber numbers grow and as it feels like I'm presenting to a bigger audience, even though, you know, it's not that big of an audience, there's only about probably 200 people that watch my videos, uh, it still feels like I have to put on a different front. I have to be a more professional style and a more... Uh, almost perfect style of commentating, and I know I don't, I know you guys don't mind, and I know you guys prefer almost live commentary type stuff to these post commentaries, and I want to start doing more first take stuff, because when you do, you know, 20 or 30 takes on a commentary, it gets to the point where it's almost scripted mentally, because you've said the same thing so many times, that it becomes to the point where it's almost you know, buried into your mind as you have to say it like this, and, and eventually it becomes scripted, and, and I made a commentary about it talking about how I'm not really myself in these commentaries, and how, you know, I'm almost like a fake person on the internet, and I kind of want to lessen that a little bit, though I'll never be able to show my true personality on the internet, because like I said, you're talking to a piece of metal, um, I can still at least try to do first take stuff, and, uh, and try to be a little bit more like myself, so from now on, I'm going to try to do first take stuff, so it might not be the, uh, the perfect flowing, you know, great grammar perfection type commentaries, because what I do before is if I, you know, said something I didn't exactly mean to say correctly, or like, like if I were to say something and it, it sounded out of context or it sounded not like I wanted it to come out, I basically restart the whole commentary, do it over, because I, I don't like to audio cut, I don't like to cut in the middle of commentaries and then restart, because then it almost sounds like a Philip DeFranco video, and you know, I can't do that every video, and it kind of has to be like a pattern with your videos, you can't do it sometimes, and not other times, and you guys, I'm sure, get the point of what I'm trying to say, so anyway, I'm um, going to try to do first take stuff, so it might not be uh, as, you know, like perfectly grammar wise, because, you know, if I misspoke a word, I'd restart it or something like that. But it's going to be a little bit more real and uh, how I actually would talk and not so much of a mentally scripted commentary. So, anyway, I hope you guys like that. Um, it's going to be difficult, though, for me to upload because my OCD is basically like a perfectionist complex where if it's not exactly how I envision it and exactly how I want it, uh, it's kind of difficult for me to upload. It's kind of difficult for me to force myself to put that on the Internet. So uh, I'm going to need your guys' help. If you guys do like these first take stuff, you know, leave me some positive feedback. Let me know. Uh, and if not, tell me that as well. You know, I want to post stuff that you guys are enjoying, and if you'd rather me go back to the old way, I can. The content just won't be as, uh, I guess, often, because it takes a lot longer to make a commentary that takes, you know, 40 takes than one that takes one. So anyway, I am going to try to start putting out content more often, which kind of brings me to my next point, which is a, a Road to Commander. I'm going to be starting on Modern Warfare 3. So uh, as most of you guys know from the time I'm making this commentary, Modern Warfare 3 comes out in four days. I'm making this on November 4th, uh, which is a Friday, so it comes out in just about four days. Uh, so... It's not that far away. It's actually pretty close to being here, um, and it's pretty close to arriving. And I'm going to be doing a Road to Commander, which for those of you that don't know, is uh, I basically record every single game, and I'm going to live commentate every single game. I know a lot of people don't do that, but, uh, you know, I'm a commentator, and I've never really been one to, you know, put everything on gameplay, so I didn't commentate it. It would kind of go against, you know, what I do with the channel. So I'm going to be commentating every game from level 1 to whatever the level cap is. I don't know yet. I've heard 70. I've heard 80. I've heard 50. I don't exactly know where it's at. Uh, but whatever the level cap is, uh, I'm going to be commentating every game from level 1 to there, um, and I'm going to try to upload one to two of those every day, uh, so I don't exactly know if it'll be consistently like two every day, and there might be like four one day, and then none for a day, and then like five the next day, I don't exactly know how that's going to go, depending on 
you know, how much schoolwork I have that day or how much, I can, how much I can record or how much I can render, how much I can upload. My internet might go out. Uh, however that goes, so I do plan on doing that uh, depending if everything goes all right. Uh, I don't exactly know what all is going to be going on at that time, but I plan on doing that. And then if that goes well, uh, I'm going to start doing some more Battlefield 3 stuff as well. I posted those two tip videos, and uh, they were extremely laggy in frame rate. I do apologize, like I said before, if my frames don't do well in that game. And it's very inconsistent, because I recorded last night, and it was perfectly fine. Everything was fine. The frames weren't lagging at all. But then I recorded today, and it was lagging like crazy. So I don't know what causes it, uh, but I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to get... You know, whatever that is fixed, and I'll try to bring some Battlefield 3 stuff. I know some of you guys want to see that, but uh, I'm working on it the best I can. I'm trying uh, to bring as much content as I can to the channel, you know, a variety of content and all that stuff. So anyway, that's that. Uh, I didn't really have a third topic planned. I'm trying to rack into my brain to see what I can come up with. Gameplay, so i got about two minutes left. Oh, um, that last video I put up, my 100th video, got a lot of troll hate on it. Um, guys, that happens, you know, there's nothing you can really do about it. If you ever see my videos getting dislikes like crazy, um, the only way that I tell if someone actually dislikes it, and this is what really gets to me, is if there's like two dislikes and I lose a sub, or if there's a dislike and I lose a sub, or if there's like a hate comment from someone, you know, that I know is a subscriber, you know, because I do have trolls, there's people that I haven't had the best past with, um, and, you know, they've attacked me on multiple occasions. They put a dislike bot on one of my videos on my old channel, got to like 1,300 dislikes. Uh, so, you know, whatever happens, happens. Uh, if, if you see a video getting trolled, the only thing you can really do to fight it is to click the like button. And like I said, it doesn't really bug me that much. Uh, you know, trolls are going to be trolls. There's nothing you can really do about it. Um, and it doesn't really upset me. I talked about it on Twitter a little bit, which, you know, it's almost laughable that someone goes to the work. And they were actually signing into different accounts to dislike it because it would go up like five dislikes and like six views and stuff. So they were actually signing in, giving me views, giving me dislikes, um, which, you know, is okay. I like, you know, the video goes up in views, ratings are ratings. So, you know, it, I, I don't know exactly how YouTube works, but from what I've heard, a rating's a rating in the system. It doesn't matter if it's a like or dislike. Uh, so, you know, a rating helps me either way. So, if you guys don't like the video, um, or don't like a video on YouTube, what I do and I don't like a video is I'll leave, you know, a comment on what I don't like about the video, or if it's a stupid insult to someone, I'll leave a hard, hardcore troll comment, and I just won't rate it, because a rating helps them. You know, dislikes don't really affect that many people on the internet. And if they do, you know, it's alright, I guess. It's a red thumb, though. A red thumb really can't hurt you virtually, so, you know, that's that, guys. Trolls are going to be trolls. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're 101 videos in now and uh, still going. So, gameplay was an 18-5 and five capture the intelligence game on TF2. I actually think we lose this, but it was still a fast-paced gameplay, still pretty good. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know you guys are enjoying it, and I will uh, talk to you guys later.